All right, welcome back to the channel. Gonna be filming uh, nine hole, just me today. Hope you guys enjoyed the last video where we did the team par three match. We're gonna do some other stuff like that again eventually. Uh, we have some other uh, ideas as well. Moving forward, once the, the course greens up a little more and uh, better weather conditions to film. Today's not a bad day to film because there's not that much wind. But uh, so I'm looking forward to sharing some of these other type formats with you. Uh, thanks for watching the channel. For the people just tuning in that are wondering what the channel's about, it's about bringing awareness to PTSD and the fire service first responder fields. So thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Tell your friends, your family, your dog to subscribe and hit the like button. Have your dog's paw or cat hit that like button. Thanks. All right, I got 100.6 up this hill. Winds help a little bit. Little bit to love, so I'm gonna go with this 50 degree. Choke that out a little bit. Ah, it's gonna be a tough chip, I think. If it made it deep, yep, there it is. I can see it on the hill. That's what I was afraid of. I've been pulling these wedges still. Can't swing it up to the right on these. But let's go. Brian didn't want to play a little red, white, and blue match, and he's probably right next to the hole on this one. Practicing for tournament Sunday. <laughs> he just can't handle the camera. Is that true? No, that's not true. <laughs> I think it I'm is. I'm beautiful for the camera. Uh, see? We'll see. All right, you see Brian's approach shot. He didn't want to do a match. He can't Guilt, handle quit guilting me into it. He can't handle the camera just like the last video <laughs> we got on camera. I'm gonna have me a tough chip here, folks. Wrong club choice, and I pulled it. It's not looking good. I might end up down here by the camera. I want to share with you a little bit uh, for the people just finding my channel or people that don't know they've been following. Uh, I have a foundation now called First Responder Golf Foundation. I'm hosting a tournament on August 9th. So if you're interested in maybe coming to Kansas City and playing in that to help support uh, the main nuts and bolts of it is going to be called PAR, which stands for Peers and Rapport. Nine holes of golf, probably scramble formats, eight to 12 people. If it grows to something more, we'll, we'll expand it. But for now, eight to 12 people um, trying to start with local departments here in the Kansas City area. But if you live from outside and want to come into Kansas City, the golf and the food's paid for, not the flight to get here. But uh, it's called Peers and Rapport. I'm excited about the nuts and bolts, and that's what all the money from the tournament and any donations come to is going to pay for that. And maybe next year and the year after, we can expand this and go regionally, go nationally, and just get the power of golf, the, what I think golf helps me decompress while I'm out here with nature and, and just trying to grind and, and play the game the best I can. So thanks for watching. All right, I got about 90 yards to this front pin. Gonna go to 54. 
Brian sneezing. Bless you. Hope bless you. I don't think I got enough of it, Brian. But I got enough he'll put. All right, here we are on the second hole, hole number 11. And Brian hit another one close. He didn't want to do our little game that we came up with. And let's tell the folks what that game is going to be about, Brian. So it's going to be called... Red, white, and blue. Red, white, and blue. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw what tee boxes we play from on these nine holes. So it's either going to be the red tee, the white tee, or the blue tee. So you get three of those. And once you draw one, you throw it out. If anybody goes two up, what do we have to do? You have to go to the black tee. We have to go to the black tees, but you still draw for what tee you would have played from. And it would be fun. It and you throw that one out. So... If you're ever two up, if you remain two up, you're staying from the black two, the black tees to try to make it, uh, you know, have a comeback or whatever. And we'll see how we can play from the tips. So hope you like that format when we finally do that video. And here's his marker. See how close he hit it? Just like last hole. And he didn't want to play today, but I think he's afraid of being on camera except for what you see him there. Here's my approach shot. What do you think, folks? A little right to left, or looks like from your angle? There's where my ball ended up in the rough here. Got 119 to that pin placement there. It's like middle left. All right, 119, gonna go with this 52. With 50, I bet it's a 50. Got, came up short with that wedge. That's 50 degree, 52, bent to 50. A little uphill putt. Settle, settle. That's all right. Slowed up more than I thought it was going to. Yeah, climbing that hill. When you first hit that, I was like, oh, that's 50 pounds there. You got a 19 degree hybrid here. Keep going left. So, in my last video, I did a little QA with my buddies. Uh, I didn't do one, but the question would be my favorite course I've played of all time. Uh, I mean, Brian said Pinehurst yesterday, and that, that one, Pinehurst number two, that was, that was pretty legit. And so, the conditions we played it under. Yeah, and we played in a tournament, so that, that, one's, that one's there. Um, my favorite golfer of all time, I mean, Tommy Watson. Kansas City. I love watching him play, man. Grew, grew up watching him, even as a young pup I was. So, I mean, I get Tiger Woods, the, the guy they chose yesterday, but 
I'd say Tommy, then then Tiger, just going with my Kansas City guy. And then, uh, of course, bucket list type thing. As a lot of you might know, we're going to Bandon Dunes. So I'm going to say Bandon Dunes. But Pebble Beach is right there. Then I'd have to say TPC and Sawgrass, top Ooh. five. Uh, St. Andrews, if I can get over there. And then Whistling Straits. I'd say not necessarily in that order, but those are my five. Yep. So It's a good five to have. It's a good five to have, yeah. So. Expensive five to have. Yeah, so if anyone sends me a uh, GoFundMe, <laughs> <laughs> I'll make I'll make footage of it for everyone. All right, thanks for watching. Ah, hit it, Steve. I was afraid to hit it. I'll be honest, because on these type of shots lately, I'm worried about the old you know zoo animal, the shankopotamus. So, all right, got to try to two-putt this one. Got a long way. All right, there's what I got. Got a good breaker here. You have to play up to the right, it looks like. And then let her feed down. Good from down there. Overall, I'm happy with about 135 to this pin. Choke down nine iron up this hill. Oh, should have hit the full nine. Wait, 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 wait. Look who showed up to watch us. Or was, did he talk, show up? Show up to talk shit. <laughs> You're not put a bet on this. I'm betting a poke from off the green gets it closer to the stick than Taylor does from being on the green. That's a nigh bet for you. He always hey, gets the side that he knows. what he's got to pump through and everything. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say, dude? Brian thought maybe you just showed up to give him grief. No, I, I brought my camera. <laughs> I was doing a video of him so I see if I can get him straightened out, but it sounded like he's already straightened out. So, so R Richie took a break today. You got to get his back right. You got a tournament Sunday? Yeah, Sunday and then Tuesday both. All right. Three days in a row, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Sweet. That's gonna be pretty salty. Might go in. Ooh, downhill putt. That might be a we tie. Got a measure. That might be a tie. It might be a tie. Oh my god. Or Brian might have so got you. Close. It's no, close. No. I think it's about a tie. Oh, you got him. I got him by a, a by a half inch. By a half inch. Now you have 30 more feet. <laughs> You're on the green. Yeah. Hey, my body should have hit more club. All right, there's where my short seven iron came up. Just a little behind Brian there. Going up. 
Good shot. <coughs> It's a little late, but it'll work. All right, the pin is pretty much is right over the middle of this bunker. And then the other bunker is right next to the green. That'll work. All right, there's where my ball ended up. Ran through the green here. That's my chip. Or I might try to Texas wedge it. It ran through the green here. Just a smidge. And the pace didn't help either. One five five, he says. Wrong choice of clubs there. It's only like fifty six, fifty seven, Kansas City right now. Probably should have. Ball's not traveling as far. Probably should have hit the eight. Try to muscle a nine. That's two mistakes I've made on this side as far as club selection. So $180. All right, there we are. Here's what we got coming down. A little over the top pull, I got away with it. All right. Here's where my tee shot ended up. On this dormant Zoysia, it likes to roll a little bit. 88 here. 88, Richie says up there, so it's probably about 20. Minus 15. And then the pin's up. Minus so 10, yeah. Probably about 50. I'd say, uh, yeah, yeah, 65. Bites. I didn't. I mean, it did, but it didn't. Yeah, but it didn't. Yeah. Oh, it, did, it wasn't the foot pace. Well, it is because of the slope, but at the end, when it loses its pace. Yeah. I All right. Thanks for watching the video. <clears throat> Hope you guys enjoy me sharing my rounds of golf with you, but the main mission is to share that with you, but let you know that I use golf as a way to overcome the stresses of my profession. Um, we all have stresses in life, no matter what profession you're from. So use golf. If you're a golfing fan and you watch this, use golf as a way to decompress, to reinvigorate back into your family life uh, when you're having stresses because man when you have stresses you 
lose focus, you become introverted in essence, and you just, it, it can become a problem like it was with me and my family. And luckily I've overcome it for the most part and still working on being a better dad, being a better husband, being a better firefighter, being a better friend. So I hope my videos and me talking about my realness, my, my vulnerability, um, inspire somebody to one, seek help, but two, um, hey, use the game of golf to help you. It, it does with me. So I appreciate everyone that supported me over this last year and few months. Um, I love y'all. Thanks for watching.